everyone, my name is Alpha. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a wonderful day. So today we are building in the world of Brindleton Bay and that's because since the very last time I built on this world, which is like few weeks ago, I built the um, pumpkin barn wedding venue. I could link it on the iCard in case you want to check that out. But basically, um, I've built a pumpkin barn wedding venue and I realized how gorgeous Brindleton Bay is, especially in autumn. So since we're still in the um, autumn mode over here, so I decided just to build this. And to be honest, I'm not sure is this a cottage or a like, regular suburban house because this is clearly a smaller house but i'm not sure what type of style this is but i just really want to build using that um blue like pale blue color like wall paneling because it looks very like cozy and homey and perfect i would say for this beach uh, side cottage or house in general so i didn't really use the tiny uh, is that tiny lot residential lot type because I wasn't meant to build a tiny house even though this is quite small but um, I think this may count as a small house I think I'm not sure because I didn't really use that but one thing that I know is it's not a tiny house because we have two like decent sized bedroom here and we have a huge bathroom and by huge I mean it's rather big because yes it's in a long shape but i think it's a two by four tiles i'm not sure so it's eight tiles and for this size of the house it considered as a big bathroom so on the um first story we have the kitchen we have the living we have the bathroom and we have the um side deck area which we'll see in just a little bit and i'm sorry about my voice it's still a bit like rusty and i tried a lot of things to like make it a little bit better but now every few minutes i need to clear my throat which is not very pleasant because i talk a lot i mean on a daily basis i talk a lot and when i do the voiceover like what i'm doing right now i need to clear my throat like over and over and i have to cut that parts off a lot on this voiceover which is totally fine but it's not very pleasant on me i just don't feel like really good with my throat i don't know why i um have visited a doctor and she said that it's totally fine because the weather's changed and um fun fact i just got wet from rain like now before i do this voiceover it was raining all day here like from um like 10 in the morning up until now 8 in the evening it's still like raining it's not like that heavy rain thunderstormy rain whatsoever but it's still like downpouring which is not really fun if you have to like go outside and um yeah i got wet twice from rain today but it's totally fine i'm i'm fine i just need to have a good sleep tonight so it's totally fine but anyway um this is still autumn i mean the the weather on this shift that I'm doing right now is still in autumn because um, yes, the last video was um, I'm not sure because it was my Sylvan Glade build and I know seasons don't affect in Sylvan Glade or any of the hidden worlds like uh, Forgotten Grotto and that um, Realm of Magic Magic Realm world, I think so this is the weather or the season on my very recent save file and um i'm i'm surprised on how gorgeous those red trees are i'm not sure what trees are they but i believe they're that specific tree from um, cats and dogs i'm not sure the actual name of the trees but it's so beautiful i really love them i don't really like them in like regular shape i mean in the, like the green color but on this reddish deep red color it's so beautiful i really want to have that in my life but i can't because we don't have four seasons here and um 
anyway this is the interior part and it's quite hard for me to figure out the floor plan i mean yes i know that um nook over there will be the bathroom but the rest was very um interesting to think of because i just don't want to have a floor plan actually on this build but i had to because otherwise this will look very cramped and i don't really like that because this is a really small house not that small though it's not a like micro house or anything like that but it's rather small and as you can see that um when you go inside to this house you will see the kitchen and it's rather lovely i would say i've never have this kitchen situation over here so it's quite interesting to see me came up to this floor plan and um that countertop set is from parenthood and i love this color so so much i've never used this color or this swatch ever because i thought that they look very strange with that orange um like terrazzo or marble top over there but i think they look really nice on this build and i really love the living space and the kitchen area on this level they're just so beautiful but i have to mention this when i play tested this build um i had to swap that um coffee table over there that's from jungle adventure into the one from cats and dogs i think because unfortunately your sims can't light up the fireplace so i have to swap that out and it's not a huge deal it's just a coffee table but um in case when you download this build and you notice something's different that's that and yes uh i think this is one of the certain times that i have issue with my build um but it's not like a huge issue whatsoever and also i had to change the roof trim because when i took the screenshot i realized that the roof trims were like shown onto that landing area over there so i had to change that it's not like very visible whatsoever but it's still there it's just like a tiny tiny line but um i just don't want to have that so i said it just to change that up and this is the first bedroom over here and the bedroom is very very tiny i have to say they're very tiny and yes i still decided to use the double beds like plural double beds because on both bedrooms we have double beds there is no single bed but if you want to like swap things out with maybe a, make one of them into an office or a like kids bedroom usually could and at first i didn't really want to put a computer or a pc on this build but i realized that it's necessary so i put that on the other bedroom so i think the second bedroom over here is the main bedroom we don't have like a master bath or something similar like that because this is a small belt and i couldn't figure out where to put another bathroom because the only bathroom that we have is on the first story and i think it's one of my most favorite bathroom ever um i've never done anything quite like that i mean the layout wise so you will see in just a little bit um we're just finishing up this room over here and we'll moving on to the landscaping and it's quite funny because i didn't realize that i would ever forget to do a bathroom because most of the time it's my top priority because if your house or if my house my sims house don't have doesn't have a bathroom it wouldn't be functional i mean if it doesn't have a let's say a bed you can like make your sims take a nap on the couch or if it doesn't have a stove you could put a grill and something like that or just a fridge so make them just eat the um, snacks but bathroom is important especially the toilet um the shower isn't very important because i just did a little gameplay last weekend and it was a lot of fun but um yeah bathroom is necessary you guys so we are doing on the landscaping here i love how deadly the bushes and the flowers are because i don't know there's something about this exact weather or seasons to be exact 
that looks very somehow lively even though they look very dead and i really really enjoy that so much so um we'll have a open truck or what do you call that like we call it as a pick up car truck over here i'm not sure what the official name of that car truck thing but you will see in just a second because i need to fill up the space a little bit so i just decided to put a car over here and i think it's nice to have that type of a car like pickup truck car i can see that it's the like perfect car or perfect vehicle for this household who lives on this um house and yes we are just basically finishing up the landscaping before we move on to the bathroom because it was so hilarious when I realized that I haven't done the bathroom because I just basically like tap in all the like um, build name and also the kind of like a caption for the gallery and so on and so on but when I like check the like photos from the gallery I just realized that I haven't done a bathroom because I felt like that there's something wrong that I haven't done and yes that's the bathroom so here we are now doing the bathroom and after this we'll be heading on to the screenshots finally so if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you can find it under my EAID which is Fatiera, or under the hashtag apply me sims you could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to my coffee website it'll have both the gallery download links and also the tray files download just so we don't have a lot of links in the description box below and please pardon my rusty voice it's still like this so yeah i think that is it i really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to, you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. So yeah, I'm going to sign off right now. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and supporting my channel. Enjoy the rest of the screenshots and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!